I am stretchy. But I'm not the only one who is stretchy. You are stretchy. Everybody is stretchy. Our society is stretchy. If you think I'm just being edgy, no, I am stretchy. When you go to the hospital and they only recommend you some medicines, no matter what your sickness is, when your friend suddenly vanished from the party last night, or when you ask them if they saw your foods and they say no. But what exactly is stretchy? Not thorough or detailed, dishonest and disreputable. This one is basically lying. Let's pick a case. When the cattle when her mom asked her after she went home late night, where have you been? Nowhere. Before judging any further, let's take a deeper look. Looking at the first definition, they don't tell you in detail as if they don't want to reveal all of it. They are something to hide, but it might be that they are just lazy. Who is diligent enough to tell everything in detail? They might answer more detail if you ask. Except they don't. They are avoiding the imminent judgment that might be not so imminent if they risk lying, which will make the penalty worse. It's like gambling. Deep down there people like to gamble you know. Risk a little what you have to earn a bigger price. Some are even doing it only for the thrill. Another theory. It really is nothing. So there's nothing to talk about. Another case, when you ask your friend about the hot rumor going around recently, they don't tell you the complete story, they are hiding it, might even cut the best part. A theory, they don't have enough knowledge so they don't have much to say, or they are actually protecting the victim of the rumor, I mean not everyone is cynical and rotten, you know. Or even they are protecting you from the rumor so you won't be hurt by the truth even if it means lying to you. I mean, the rumor might be actually about you, who knows. Another theory. They like being sketchy. Hmm. I mean, it might be not be a rare case. Being sketchy is fun sometimes. It makes you feel like having a personality. To my experience, there are actually people who secretly likes that attitude, even if you done it too far and actually being cringy. To this point, I believe being sketchy is pretty general, everyone must have ever done it before sometimes. It is imminent. You can't gain full access on all information in the world, not even in the age of Google. Some people say information is power. I might even say information is pleasure. The fact that you know that little big secret, it's already make you feel like the ruler of the world, doesn't it? Facebook sells your information to third parties for grand amount of dollars. Even our greatest contributor in society, saints of education, schools, and universities selling knowledge for criminally ridiculous price and strip you straight to looming debt. They never go full transparent about the system, do they? What? Unnecessary? To three file? Yes, keep telling yourself that. So everyone keeps quiet about it and do nothing until it solidly continues for years, centuries, they are getting stronger for its time passes. At this point, they have grown into a department and foundation of itself that has become rooted into society. It's too late now, even the people are on their side too now. Nothing you can do about it. Man, this goes too radical, I might be jailed. Anyway, that might be the case, or education really is expensive, even to this modern era. Or they want you to believe that. Back to the main topic. Being sketchy is a general attitude. You can do nothing to change it, except your gut and, well, change that. Which causes a big change to many other aspects in human psychology in the process. Thus created a whole new kind of utopia society. But that's good, right? Because many people are sketchy to you, you can value more those that did not being sketchy to you. That there are people who open their heart and body to you and there are people who honestly like to be open around you. 
good people, friends, family, loved ones. Wonderful, isn't it? In this sketchy world, there are people who are drawn to you. Even if you are a worthless basement dweller scum. Also, it's not easy to be open to others, you know. The insecurities, the awkwardness, and things I have mentioned before. Cherish those who are close to you. You never know when will be the last time you can open up to them again. I'm not talking about that. A simple trivial circumstances may ruin it easily. I'm sure you have experienced this as well and might know it better than me. Cherish those cherries. You berry. You. You scum. Please subscribe.